have you ever imagined living in a house that is part of nature and built from materials that are sourced from nature? Well, welcome to the Ardenia Project. We are a startup that focuses on building sustainable houses from eco-friendly materials, primarily bamboo. There are two major problems that India faces today. One is that 40% of carbon pollution from building houses mainly arise due to steel and cement that is used in the construction and it pollutes the built-in environment as well. The other problem is that there is a 25 million house deficit in India. There are a lot of people who are currently unable to build a house mainly due to rising costs. And we focus on solving those issues. Now let's look at the broader picture. The Indian construction sector is shifting towards sustainable and locally sourced materials like bamboo, fly ash bricks and recycled aggregates. This change is driven by two major macroeconomics forces like rising environmental awareness and government initiatives. So the rising environmental awareness it means people are realizing that resources depletion and carbon emissions are not just global problems. They directly affect local economies and ur urban livability. And the government initiatives like programs like PM Awas Yojana, which means that housing for all and the national bamboo missions are channeling public investments into green and affordable housings. As you can see in the charts, government as you can see in the charts, government spendings on green infrastructure has been growing steadily and the number of registered green green projects green green building projects in India is rising year after year. Together, these trends create a strong macroeconomic foundation for the RNA project, which where policy, demand and sustainability align perfectly. So let's talk numbers because the data tells an exciting story. The green building materials market in India is projected to grow from 13.9 billion US dollars in 2025 to US dollars 39 billion by 2030, showing an impressive 11% CAGR. Similarly, the bamboo construction materials market is expected to reach 445 million US dollars by 2030, growing at nearly 6% annually. And at the same time, India's GDP growth is forecasted at 6.6%, while inflation is expected to be moderate at around 5% meaning more disposable income, more housing demand, and stable macroeconomic conditions for green housing investments. And now if you look at the map, you'll see a high potential regions like Kerala, Karnataka, and Asa, where bamboo production is missing, giving Arunia a local housing advantage. Our analysis also shows that urbanization, green financing, and export potential are key opportunities, while challenges include financing, regulatory barriers, and consumer perceptions. From a strategic standpoint, Aranya operates within India's green construction industry, a sector with both growing competition and untapped potential. We have identified two key factors that stand out. One is the threat of substitutes. Traditional materials like concrete are still dominant, but bamboo offers lower cost, faster construction and eco advantages, making substitution difficult once awareness grows. Bargain, then the next one is the bargaining power of the buyers. With rising demand for the affordable housing, buyers are now more open to sustainable alternatives that offer value for money. In the competitive space, we benchmark RNA against Bamboo House India, Green Build and Godrej Construction. While most focus on premium eco buildings, RNA's unique edge lies in affordable, scalable eco housing that uses local materials and employs local labor, strengthening both economic inclusion and environmental impact. To sum up, the RNA project isn't just about building homes, it's about building a future, one that is sustainable, inclusive and economically viable. With the government's push toward net zero by 2070, projects like RNA can redefine how India builds one bamboo home at a time. The RNA project, sustainable by design, rooted in nature. Thank you.